Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My friend and I have recently completed one of the most memorable trips we have done together. Riding from England to France and Switzerland, through some of the most colourful and characterful French villages, to the incredible roads and passes of the Swiss Alps. With our two cafe racers, my Royal Enfield Continental GT650, named Aurora after seeing the Northern Lights together last year during our Arctic adventures, and my friend's stunning Triumph Thruxton RS. This is the part two of our trip and this mini cafe racer adventure series where we make our way from France to our Geneva in Switzerland. So we stopped at uh, this restaurant, Le Cat, and that was the best lunch we've had so far. It was some sort of slow cooked tongue stew with potatoes and carrots. It was really nice. And a little bit of espresso. And we are ready to rock and roll towards Geneva. We are staying. Uh, at this lake nearby Geneva and today we're actually camping so we are looking forward to that and also the priority today is find a place to swim <laughs> it's about 31 degrees now and as soon as the jacket comes on I feel like I've got a heat blanket around me okay my friend feels so good just that wind in my jacket it's like the best thing ever Woo. and a Land Rover we've seen quite a few of these seem to be used as a proper workhorse which is so nice to see 77 kilometers to go to our camp spot for the night and just before the camp spot we're looking on the map there is this uh, quite beautiful mountain pass with loads of twisties so we are looking forward to that and the closer we're getting to Switzerland more twisties and more the landscape is getting more trees and more green for sure wow looks amazing Petorne Petorne I'm assuming that's the name of this place and heading towards Geneva some uh, sports bike coming. Okay, just going through the border. Well, welcome to Switzerland.
we are 25 minutes from our campsite for the night and there's a there's a viewing point here so Rash has just gone to turn around and I'm going to show you this viewing point <laughs> just looked uh, incredible see across here Look at this! I think that's Geneva in the distance. <laughs> yeah, buddy! That's Look at Geneva this! Geneva in the distance. Probably. Because it's that lake in Geneva, it's just by that lake, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the remaining of our route to our camp spot. I mean, look at all of these twisties. Wow. Here we are at our camp spot and 11210A. 11210A. Turn around again. Okay? Turn off the bike, turn off the bike. You okay? Hang on, I'll help you. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, here's our camp spot. So we had a little bit of a slippy situation, but uh, it's all good. And nothing's happened really, just a couple of scratches. And he's fine. So I'm good, I'm good. we're going to set up camp now. It's been a while since we used the tent, so it's probably going to take us two hours to set it up. <laughs> but uh, look, let's see how long it's going to take. It's just coming to five to five. So. Set that up and then uh, show you around this camp spot. It's a pretty cool place. There's a swimming pool, restaurant, tennis court. <laughs> I 
can play tennis. Have you played tennis? Well, not particularly well, but yet. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Coffee and croissant for breakfast. Um, Classic. <laughs> Classic. Nearly ready. Nearly ready. Another half an hour and we're good to go. <laughs> Another half an hour of pushing and shoving stuff in our luggages. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good game, I like it. <laughs> okay, good morning or good afternoon. We've had a lazy morning today. Just taking our time. And now we're leaving this campsite, Utopia campsite in this beautiful Swiss village and we are making our way up kind of going northeast today 200 and 145 miles to today's destination so our tent is uh, slightly too small for two people it's just manageable but it was a little bit of a <laughs> struggle last night Yeah, it's nice to have the backup option, but it's definitely too small. So we we both didn't get much deep sleep, let's put it this way, and <laughs> constantly waking each other up. So somehow we've managed to find another gem of the place. Amazing, um, absolutely. Incredible. Stunning. It's meant to be, like we're meant to have these two beds, but there's actually no one here. So we've got the whole room to, to ourselves. And uh, just have a look at our view here. I'm going to have, uh, show you a little, uh, do a little walk around the place to show you a really cute place. You don't mind if I take a video, do you? No. I'm making a little uh, traveling vlog. Yeah. So you guys are having a party here tonight? I don't know. We just heard about it. Uh, yeah, I, we don't know anything about it. 
Ah, uh, it's not your party. No, it's not our party. Uh, We're okay. just traveling on the bikes. Ah, uh, you just you do the two of you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And where are you coming from? We come from England. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah. And here is the view. And I'm going to show you where the bikes are. And here are the bikes. So yeah, we are super happy with this place. And uh, <clears throat> there's apparently a, apparently a one hour hike we can do to go and see the uh, nice view of the Alps. So we we're probably going to go and do that. And then they serve food here as well. Uh, so relax and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon and evening it's coming to five o'clock so we've done pretty well today on time it's good i get a view in the background The following morning we woke up quite early as this was the day we were going to ride three of the most famous passes in Switzerland. Susten Pass, Grimsel Pass and the Furka Pass. We were so looking forward to this. Okay, after you sir. <laughs> this is incredible oh wow
It's rolling. This glorious morning is coming to just at nine o'clock, like a half past ten to nine. And uh, we came across this bike or cafe in Mount area. Um, <coughs> so we just stopped to grab some breakfast. We just had uh, some bread, cheese, and ham, coffee, and croissant. And uh, also, I seem to have lost my sunglasses, that's why uh, uh, my eyes are half closed. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It's whatever we expected it to be so far. I mean, it's only 45 minutes into it, uh, and it's just been absolutely stunning. So we, I'm just looking forward to continuing the ride. And this, this area is, is full of sports cars and with the McLaren and uh, Mustang. So some sports car bikes. <clears throat> and we've been seeing loads uh, this morning as well. Uh, so we'll shout you enjoy our rest of our coffee and uh, we seem to have a full flask of coffee and I'm debating whether I should go and get my Stanley to fill it up. But it's situated at the bottom of my uh, my, my leather <laughs> bag, so I would have to carry out a little surgery and take everything out so i'm debating in my head whether i should do that or not uh so yeah i'll keep on debating <laughs> enjoying us of this coffee and uh, we shall uh, be back on the road shortly <laughs> keep on debating eh <laughs> so it seems like the debate is over and uh, we're taking the coffee with us. Just going to get the flask. She's situated at the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Shaking his head. Not very happy with the situation. <laughs> ah, seems like you found it. There he is. Now it's gonna have to work with the back. How does it feel to have the last with you? Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, had to do it. I think I have to rinse this. <laughs> I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that's it. Good rinse. I had to do it. I cannot waste a perfectly flask of coffee. Here we go. And he's going to add a Look bit of this. milk. Would you like some milk? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Here we go. That's it. There we go, now we have, I would say, that will do us for the rest of the day. Probably. Perfect. Now the only thing is to do, I have to fit this back in my bag, which might take a while, but <laughs> that, we'll get to go. There we go. Nice bikes! Oh really? Where? Where is that? No, we're coming from France and Switzerland, yeah. Maybe not another bike.
Where are you coming from? From Switzerland. From Switzerland, okay, okay. So this is your weekend riding. All we no, want is the whole night. Oh, okay. Okay, it was one more photo stop at this. Quite historic. Uh, used to be a hotel, I watched a video on it. Uh, I believe it's not used anymore. Wow. Uh, Got to go channel. This uh, German lady who travels around the world on her motorbike and she was um, talking about this building and going down this pass. And uh, yeah, quite, quite an iconic hotel that now is just a bit of a photo spot for the travelers on this road and we are just absolutely loving it. We saw a Swiss couple on two BMW R90s. One uh, on the Scrambler and one on the R90 Classic. What are they? <laughs> I love the fact that you have this towel on your back. <laughs> like you have this beautiful sexy bike and then you're hanging your half wet towel and your rather fancy luggage system <laughs> you're a legend my friend yep you gotta do what you gotta do Okay, time for a coffee stop and no need to worry because we have the Stanley <laughs> okay <laughs> you know that Stanley's been with me for like five years
about 40 minutes from our destination for the night and we just noticed this absolute crystal clear water and uh, what are we doing now? We're going for a swim! <laughs> going for a swim! Ready to go! Warm, huh? سبانی میشن میپنن سر کلم So we have arrived at our destination for the night This place called the uh, Hoth Gouache uh, tree, it's like a campsite, and we've got that uh, sort of like a flat up there. It's like a bed and breakfast kind of thing, uh, with our own kitchen. And, and this is this is a farm, so they have their own animals and cows, and there was some pigs on the corner. And uh, Rash is uh, stroking the kitten. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Just had a little uh, tour of the place. Um, and there's there's actually a grill that we're going to do a barbecue and they have their own organic uh, local produced stash of food here so we're just going to show you around and uh, make a pick for what we're going to eat Rash is going inside so pretty much everything is produced in this farm okay and there's a uh, Ice cream. Ice cream. Sausages. Ooh. We're going with sausages. Probably. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I think it's gonna be a while for us to decide. <laughs> There's well, some local we'll eggs. Go, we'll go with these sausages. These are for grill as well. Okay. Professional chef. Yeah. Some omelets. <laughs> what are we cooking? Tell us. We're cooking some uh, courgette omelets. Yeah, so this is from this farm. Yeah. So we are making a little bit of omelet with organic, well, everything. Don't stop making a mess. Everything is homegrown. With and these also, eggs. Yep. Again, from the hens that we saw earlier on. And uh, Stefan, the host, He's a bit of a legend. Uh, he's gonna bake us some bread. Yeah, we bread asked right him now. for uh, some bread and he was like, I can bake you some. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mate. Really, really nice guy. And uh, <sighs> so we're just gonna half make or half cook the omelets without the actual eggs. Go and do the fire and the grill and everything. And just before the grill is ready, I'm just gonna run in, put a couple of eggs in and make the omelet and bring it. We just gonna be outside, aren't we? We just eat. Yeah, it's going to be sorted. And, then and you, my friend, some, you're on uh, wine duty. A glass of wine. So I say get them poured. This guy wanted to drink uh, wine in a whiskey glass. <laughs> I told him it's disrespectful to the wine. It was smaller. <laughs> it was easier to manage whilst we're playing chess. No, 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 no. So... He just disrespected the person who made the wine. <laughs> Okay, my, uh, my brother. That's mine. Is it? <laughs> yeah, this is That's, poison okay. in it. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. So fruity, so nice. 
That's the wine. Kovi Prince. Why are you throwing stuff? <laughs> Finding wood. Come on. I do work hard and you start video. <laughs> Working hard for our food. Don't find wood. And all we do is video, video. <laughs> <laughs> video, video all day, every day. Okay, we're in the final process of uh, making the fire. And then the some fire. grill is happening very shortly. And the omelette is halfway done, just waiting for eggs. It's going to be a very nice meal for to bring a perfect day to an end, really. Just to sum up today, it's been, I must have said so many times how beautiful it was, but Definitely one of the best riding experiences uh, I've ever had. Well, in general, really, it's just been incredible. Um, yeah, one of the best trips I think we've had together. So actually. yeah, it's been amazing, 100%. isn't it? It's been amazing. So Switzerland, we love you. <laughs> and uh, we still have a few days um, left on our trip. We have, today is uh, Saturday. We are getting the Euro Tunnel on Friday. So we have solid five days of riding left and on Thursday night we're staying in Calais and Friday morning is the Euro Tunnel quite early. Um, so yeah, there's it's gonna be how quickly it's gonna be it's gone I know it's gone by, yeah. it always does. It always goes really quick. Um, so yeah there's going to be um, probably one more video to continue uh, our adventures this time. Uh, so yeah we're going to end the video now. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, joining us for our uh, during our adventures and riding around the Alps today. We hope you enjoyed watching our watching the footage. We've definitely had a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you soon in the next video. Bye.